Battlefield 2042, trash. Overwatch, trash. Caldera Season 2, trash. World of Warcraft after Leroy died, trash. Ukraine Crisis, trash. Raccoons eating my garbage, mean, rude, and trash. trash. Ghostbusters 2016, trash. Coin, Robin Millie, trash. Disney Star Wars, trash. Georgia Lucas Star Wars, trash. Your mom's opinion on a fan of trash. 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 Despite the cartoonish yet gorgeous graphics, this game has done a formidable job at rendering the true feeling of kart racing and may be the best racing game out there, simultaneously offering the perfect perspective of a third person view while giving the first person sensation when behind the wheel. This is a quote from Trembly King about Garfield Kart Furious Racing. With all the hate coming off of the Battlefield 2042 fiasco and now known as one of the most hated games on Steam and YouTube reviews alike, I insisted on finding a game that I would thoroughly enjoy and have fun with friends as well. I could have simply piled onto the hate on the internet like most gamers did with respect to them though because that game, that Battlefield 2042 game, was not a Battlefield game at all. The first time I saw the graphics on it, I was like really, really hesitant. They said it was a beta build. And then they said it was like four months late and that that was not going to be what it actually looked like. But guys, the more videos I saw coming out about it, the more worried I got. And I had to cancel my uh, pre-subscription to it or whatever, I guess we can call it nowadays. But I definitely got rid of that order. Now, guys, EA and DICE need to go back to the drawing board and make a great Battlefield game again. But that was the most looked after game that I was looking forward to this entire year of 2022 and into 2023. But now that I don't have that game to play, Battlefield is kind of lame, Call of Duty is kind of lame, Caldera is absolutely trash, and I will reiterate that, uh, you know, Vanguard is really not the best game out right now. So I'm gonna try to stay positive. So this is actually a good thing that's been brought into my life just recently. I struggled to find a game on Steam that was worth my time for hours, guys. I would buy hundreds of games every year trying to find something that I just want to kind of go back to and continue to play. Usually I launch a game, play it for 30 minutes, and like most of you guys, never play the game again. And I don't know why I do that. Like Valheem, I bought that game and I don't even play it. I think I don't, I think I only have 10 minutes of launch time in that game. Like I launched into the menu, created a character and never played again. I don't even like remember why I bought a lot of the games that I do. So finding a game that I can kind of go back to and have fun with is something that I've been looking at for so long when trying to find just something to play with friends and have fun and not have to fly across that map of Caldera and get shot down in the chopper or get killed by somebody camping in a tree. I just don't want to do that anymore. And I'd rather try and spend my time doing something I enjoy, which is just genuine gaming. I've spent time looking at the best reviews for a game that I could find. And guys, I found Garfield Kart Furious Racing. Now, some of the mixed reviews are very true, like Garfield Kart Stole My Wife or Garfield Kart Saved My Divorce. Okay, a very, very mixed, but overwhelmingly very positive. So when I jumped into this game, queued up for the first race, I found something that was very unique and very, very fun. Uh, it was like It was obviously a kid's game. But that is what made Mario Kart so much fun back in the day, too, is that you could just play Mario Kart with your friends, have fun, get blue shell at the line, and do something, you know, that was just a genuine fun. I don't know what happened to gaming, but I mean, the replayability on games nowadays is nowhere near what it was back when I was younger. But since now that we have, you know, uh, racing games and stuff that are actually like really good graphics, it, it surprises me that we haven't seen a kart racer with very good graphics as well. And like Tremblay Kang, the guy that I first read right away, he also put this uh, very well. You know, it, it does a good job at what it does. 
And honestly, I don't even know what I'm trying to say here. But guys, after I saw the reviews on this game, I definitely had to jump in. And it was really fun. Somewhat forgettable characters. Uh, obviously, they have Garfield and Adi and John. But other than that, I don't even like remember. They had a guy named Squeaky. And, you know, there was, uh, what, Hanko or Hanky, I think, um, was the guy that I was driving around with most of the time. One of the heavyweight characters. So, yeah, the mechanics are pretty much like every other game in this category. The Grand Prix are all named after food groups and things of that sort. They have a map in the lasagna cup called Cats in the Hood, which is really great. And uh, yeah, there was just a ton of fun kind of moving around in these maps. And uh, yeah, they, they weren't like too bad of design, which is really, really surprising. In the Burger Cup, there was one called Sneak a Peek, which was really, really fun to play on. And then there was a mountain top one that was a lot like DK Mountains. So obviously they're going to take from the best game in the series or from the best parts of the older game too. Because um, guys, this is a remake, believe it or not. Like I think this game came out in 2013 and this is kind of similar to like the 2016 Ghostbusters. And then, oh no, no, Suicide Squad where it was revamped in like 2016, 2019. I think this game came out in 2013 and they remade it six years later in 2019. So kind of quick to remake it, but it was really, I mean, the graphics are good. The controls are easy. The carts are really fun to use. They have like perks in the game, which is kind of like Call of Duty, but this is kind of different to a kart racer that I've never seen before. I guess it's similar to probably Mario Kart 7 now or Mario Kart 8 now where you can add gliders, uh, but they have like a spoiler attachments and they have hats. Uh, that you can put on your character and it will like get you a better item rotation or even like a better um, You know like a better speed stat or handling stat, which is really really cool um, It's something that a lot of these games don't really touch on much and it's probably more for the skill gap change, right? So this does have an esports competition I was joking around a lot when I was playing this game on how not esports ready it was just because of how much it was not esports ready at all. Uh, but they really, really advertised it. I think the first thing that happened when I joined up into the game, uh, they were talking about the online leaderboard. And it's, guys, the game is good, but it's definitely not bug ready for that esports competition that they really try to pitch it. But I thought that was hilarious. And I know. Uh, like esports and Mario Kart still exist. People are still playing that CTGP update. If you guys haven't delved into that at all, that is really fun. And I'm sure a lot of these kart racing maps can be brought over to that in Mario Kart Wii as well. But I know I've been looking forward to just like seeing uh, what this scene could be. I know it was kind of dead when I was playing. Uh, there was only like two or three different people online. Uh, but guys, the absolute mechanic of drifting and everything like that is better than a lot of the Mario Kart DS drifting that I remember back in the day, which was like probably the benchmark when it comes down to a game like this. Um, so there definitely is a skill gap. Uh, in kart racing games like don't usually have skill gaps, but this one uh, kind of reminds me of Sonic Riders back in the day when if you were good at that game you could hold the front of the line without having to worry too much about getting like killed by somebody who wasn't really that good at the game uh it definitely made a difference uh super monkey ball kind of had that too like if you were good at super monkey ball rolling you could definitely stay in front of the pack um, but I haven't taken much time to just remember what a good game really felt like, guys. I loved Mario Kart for the similar gamer experience. I really liked CTR, Crash Team Racing, if you guys remember that, back on the PlayStation 1. And it kind of took me back to that same kind of place. Getting hit with a red shell uh, right at the line is really funny. Uh, but it, thankfully, you don't get blue shell in this game. They have something similar, though. They have like a UFO kind of game. Uh, where you get sucked up and then you like, can't move for a little bit. They also have a wand that you can swap places with somebody. They have kind of the TNT or like the bomb bomb element uh, in the same item for both Crash Team Racing and uh, Mario Kart, but they use it with just like a gem. And that's really cool too. So there, there are some really cool things. 
you know, you don't get crushed at the line as much, but it is still there. That that thought of just being able to be good at a kart racer is what really made those games a lot of fun. So losing, you know, right at the line is still there, but it just doesn't happen as frequently, which is probably a good thing in the end. But before I took to the Steam page to write my full review of a game, um, you know, I played all the maps. I uh, definitely wanted to enjoy the experience. I'm just happy it wasn't like a Battlefield, you know, uh, game, I guess. Not an FPS, which is just something that is a change of pace for me personally. Um, but it was just real fun. And before, you know, I play split screen with all my family and friends because I probably will hook that thing up on the PC out in the living room. Um, I just wanted to announce that Garfield has not yet stolen my girl, but it could definitely happen and I'd probably be okay with that. But guys, if you want to ignore all of this and just uh, remind Garfield to stay classy. <laughs> <laughs>